Hello. Thank you uh, for having me here. Um, it's, uh, very, I'm very glad to be here. Um, sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'm Thomas Toronzo, and I'm a CEO of co-founder of Pelican Health. Uh, Pelican Health is a um, medtech, med precision medicine company, um, and we are very interested in the microbiome, but not only the microbiome. Um, well, you've seen all that uh, today, um, but basically the microbiome is linked to our health, to a variety of uh, diseases when it's dysfunctioning. and um, so there is a growing interest in the microbiome and uh, companies that are developing solutions uh, for nutrition or for uh, therapy um, are very, very keen to, to have um, new data and um, new material to, to, work, to, work, um, to work on. So basically to date, all the microbiome studies on humans are mostly done on uh, fecal matter, which is not really representative, not very exhaustive, it's mostly representative of the lower part of the, of the intestine. And we don't really know what's up there because the methods to, to access a small intestine, for example, are very, um, are very expensive or invasive. If you look at gastroscopy, enteroscopy, colonoscopy, or even st stomy that is only performed on people that have diseases. So what we bring is a non-invasive technology that is a simple pharmaceutical pill that you swallow, and this pill contains three sampling modules. Depending on the, the nature of the hard shell uh, capsule, uh, you can do sampling inside the stomach or in the, in, in the intestine. What is great about this system is in one sample, uh, you have three samples in, in one shot. It's a technology that is self-administrable. There's a need, you don't have to be at the hospital. You can take, take it at home with a small glass of water. Uh, it's completely MEMS-free, meaning that there's no electronics, there's no motors, there's no um, batteries, no springs. Um, it's also 100% biocompatible. Uh, it's made out of um, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical grade um, uh, components that are, for some of them, even implantable uh, long-term. As I said, there's a unique ability to take three samples, which is really interesting in terms of st statistics. And it's, uh, it's a technology that has been uh, patented, and it's uh, our technology. So how does it work? You simply swallow the device. Uh, as I said, depending on the nature of the capsule, uh, it will open in the gut, dissolve in the gut. The three modules are released and will sample and close. Otherwise, you can take a pH-dependent um, release capsule that will bring the devices, the modules, to the duodenum or other parts of the small intestine. Then they dissolve, and they sample, and they close, and then they, they travel along the natural route of your intestines. They are uh, found, collected in fecal matter, and then you can open them up and retrieve your sample and do um, several analysis. This is what a device looks like. So you have the capsule with the three modules that are loaded. Here are three independent modules. And within these modules, there is a PVA superabsorbent sponge, and I will tell you why this is important. Here's a device that, is, that has been uh, placed into um, a container. So how does it work? So you have that uh, wonderful art uh, shell capsule. This is size is double zero. It's roughly the size of one gram per cinnamol tab. Within that, you have the three sampling, sampling modules that are made out of a silicone. It's colored, so it's easier to retrieve. It's also radio opaque, so it can be found in the, in the, inside the body with um, an, um, a scan and an X-ray. On each side of the module, you have two uh, opening holes, sampling holes that allow the intestinal liquid to flow in. At the heart of the device, you have that sponge polymer that is super absorbent. Once the liquid um, touches that sponge, the sponge uh, will slowly expand, slowly swell, and it will start 
pushing on closing flaps once the sample has been taken uh, fully, the device grows a little bit because it's stretchy, and the, the closing flaps are completely uh, placed and shut, 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 uh, shut off the device, so nothing goes out, nothing goes in. So this polymer is great because it's, it's a battery because we, uh, we, um, we compress it, so we apply mechanic energy, and that stores it in a, in a, in a, um, in a dry state. It's very stable for a long time. What gets wet? It's, it's a motor because it expands, and it's also a reservoir because it's a, it's a sponge with millions of micropores that are interconnected, so um, all the sample is within the sponge. So we've, um, we've tested this technology already on, uh, uh, on um, one healthy volunteer, um, and we, we use um, the sample, we analyzed it using different methods. Um, it's genomics, we looked at uh, we looked at 16S, V3, V4, but also shotgun metagenomics, and we, we found that uh, we can add about 33% of data on top of what we get when we look at fecal matter. So it's, it's, a, it's a very complementary uh, device, complementary uh, way of anal uh, analyzing uh, the gut microbiome. We looked also at the metabolomics, and we found more than uh, 400 features that are specific to the modules, and compared to 2,400 features for fecal matter and 240, uh, 290 that are shared. But we find, um, for example, a lot of uh, primary bowel salts, glycocholic acid, torocholic acid, and you can use this device to look at nutrients also and other, other things. Um, and finally, also, we also did culturomics, where we uh, isolate strains and identify them using uh, Malditov or, uh, or genetics. So we are, uh, well, as I said, I'm CEO and co-founder. We also have a, a small uh, scientific board who is a gastroenterologist, but also uh, uh, scientists uh, uh, such as Thomas Clavel or Philippe, Philippe Lesnick. Um, we are, um, we work with a company that's called Stern here in France that, uh, that um, uh, builds, manufactures a device uh, as of today. And we also have, a, we are part of different networks and we, work with, we, we have been supported by uh, different, uh, different uh, institutes, uh, mostly BPI France that has been uh, really, uh, really good for us. So to date, we are doing a clinical trial on 15 LC volunteers. The clinical trial is called DIGEST. Uh, the primary objective is to demonstrate the safety of the device, meaning that uh, it goes in and goes out. It doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, we have uh, uh, eight volunteers that have been uh, included. And we also look at, uh, of course, the content, 16S, non-targeted metabolomics, and culturomics. So we provide you with an opportunity to, to, to work with a non-invasive and affordable product that is able to um, collect the gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal tract liquid. And um, it has a huge potential to get more biological information than what we already get. I'd like to thank you very much. We are located in Grenoble, France. And here are my contact if you want to reach out to us and uh, talk a little bit more. Thank you.